strawberries, the quintessential summer berry. Grown from mother plants that last about three to five years, from across the world, strawberries are a garden favorite. But what do you do when those adult plants start to fail? Or worse, become overrun with grass and weeds? Well, don't despair. There is a fix. There is a way that we can rescue those plants, and it starts right now. When strawberry mother plants begin to fail, they often stop having the ability to outcompete the weeds which they once dominated. This leads people into thinking that the plants are spent and cannot be saved. This is false. So let's dig into this and find out why. Move the brush, debris, and dead leaves away to reveal your strawberry mother plant beneath. Then begin by digging around the perimeter of your old strawberry plant. A simple hand trowel is all you need for this. As you dig further and further, begin to wedge inwards as strawberry plants are quite shallow rooted. You will begin to feel that the plant gets looser and looser as you start prying away from underneath. Finally, when you're confident that the strawberry mother plant is loose enough, grab it with both hands and remove it from the ground. Gotcha. This is the size of a typical three to five year old strawberry mother plant. Now that we finally got that mother plant out of the ground, let's take it inside where the magic happens. As you begin to inspect the strawberry plant, you notice that it's not really failing at all. In fact, it's quite likely growing amazingly well. Too well, unfortunately. So for this next task, you're gonna need just two things, a pair of garden scissors and a tray with some wet paper towel. As we mentioned, upon closer inspection, you can actually see that this plant is a series a massive series of multiple strawberry plant crowns. Upwards of 50, depending on the plant. Now, it might be difficult to find a place to begin, but remove some weeds, shift some dirt, or rotate the plant itself. Somewhere, you'll see a crown or two ready to pop out. And so because the process may take a while, place each of those crowns that you pop out on the wet paper towel. This is to avoid them drying out. Begin by popping out those crowns one by one, firmly but carefully. As you progress, you may come across shoots with actual flower buds emerging, even in the middle of winter. So as you're cleaning, quickly nip those off as you want these plants to focus purely on vegetative growth at this time. Keep working at that plant, loosening off more and more crowns as you go along. Sometimes batches of four or five pop off together. Do your best to continue to divide these even further into single crowns. All shapes and sizes of crowns will be found. You really get to see how a strawberry plant truly grows when dividing it up this way. They are amazingly prolific plants. And it's no wonder that they start to outcompete themselves and give the illusion of failing. Again, get rid of any of those flower buds that you see, however tempting it is to leave them on.
Now that you have all of your individual crowns separated and clean, you can do one of two things. You can pot them straight up, which is very easy and no different than potting up a strawberry runner. I, however, like to set these guys into water for a couple of weeks to get them to sprout new white roots before I plant them up. So, using those 10 by 20 pro-style seeding trays, I fill the cells right to the top with fresh water. Get that water to a temperature of between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit and you're good to go. Leave those roots fairly long on these individual plants as this will help to both anchor and hold up those crowns high in the water. This is good because it ensures that those individual shoots won't shift and the crown itself won't go below the water level where it could drown. Place them in one plant per cell and give them a typical vegetative light cycle of 16 hours on, 8 hours off. So let's let these guys sit for about two weeks and revisit them in part two of this series where we pot them up for both sale and for transitioning into our spring garden. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.